many people don't know that their health is actually affected by the jaw size and the tongue position. So when I tell people we can help them resolve symptoms like teeth grinding, memory fog, feeling tired even though they're sleeping for six to eight hours a day, they get really skeptical, but we can help them by actually adjusting the structure of the mouth. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how all of these things are related and what we can do to get to the root issue. So here's the first sign that you have a poor airway, clenching and grinding. If you're clenching and grinding your teeth, uh, most people don't even understand they're doing this. This typically happens at night because your body is not able to get enough oxygen into the brain to refuel. You're, this is your body's way of compensating for that lack of oxygen. And so if you're clenching and grinding, you might not know that you're doing it, but here are some signs to look for in your mouth. So if you notice that you have gum recession that looks like this or notches on your teeth that looks like this, it's a sign that you're putting a lot of pressure on your teeth. These areas can get really sensitive over time. And if you leave that alone and it just gets worse, it makes your teeth really weak and it's likely that your teeth can actually fracture and crack. Now, the importance of fixing grinding is to actually help you get more oxygen and get to the root cause of why you're grinding your teeth. If you're a poor sleeper and don't get enough oxygen going to your brain, you're gonna feel tired no matter how many hours of sleep you get. When you clench and grind your teeth, this gum recession and tooth notches actually occur because this is a weak point in your teeth and your teeth actually can bend and flex like that. And when that happens, the teeth actually create notches. So that's why gum recession and tooth notches occur from grinding and clenching. So the other sign that you can look for to see if you may be clenching or grinding your teeth are extra bony growths called tori. These bony growths are typically found on the roof of your mouth or on the bottom of your jaw, and they are stimulated to grow as you put a lot of pressure on your teeth and your jaw, and these bony growths start growing larger, and this is a sign that you are clenching and grinding your teeth in order to compensate for a lack of oxygen. Sign number three, if you have an underdeveloped or a long face, it's a sign that you are breathing through your mouth. When you have a face shape that's really long and narrow and not developed fully, it's a sign that you're mouth breathing because you're not able to breathe properly through your nose. So here are two different images, and this is a mouth breather shape. This is uh, more narrow and it's long. It tells you that this person has been developed as a mouth breather and not able to breathe through their nose during development. This other person is healthy and full-faced, showing nice development and proper breathing. It's really important to breathe through your nose because nitric oxide is only created in your nasal sinus, and that is one of the key essentials to making sure your brain functions properly, as well as the whole body. Sign number four is a lip or a tongue tie. Now the healthy position of your tongue should be at the roof of your mouth. The whole tongue portion should be pressed against the roof of your mouth, the front and back portion. Now this creates a proper seal between your digestive tract and your mouth because otherwise you're gonna have acid coming from your stomach into your mouth as you lay down. This creates an acidic environment in your mouth and that puts you at risk for having more cavities and more dental issues. Having a low tongue posture at the bottom of your mouth actually makes it impossible for you to breathe through your nose correctly. An incorrect posture of your tongue can actually cause you to have shifting of your teeth over time. Now go ahead and test yourself looking at these signs. Don't worry, most Americans actually have a lot of these signs because of poor development. It's because of our processed Western diet as we're growing and developing. We're eating a lot of processed foods and soft foods as babies and not as our ancestral diet was found, eating more whole foods and actually getting that chewing force to develop our arch. Don't be alarmed if you have any of these signs. Here at Pure Holistic Dental, we have the solution for you.